We're ready. Ready. Boston Blade West. And uh, yeah, this is my first Blade West. I didn't go last year, which I should have. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to go to the California one, so hell with that. But here we are. And Samuel is going to walk us through some of these, or talk us through some of these knives. Yes, sir. And you know, there's some fascinating things on the table, uh, all of which you cannot buy. Um, <laughs> so no, that's good. Not my fault, um, sorry. <laughs> But oh, you in you're in the Halloween mood. There you yes. go. And so, okay, let's. Uh, oh, you know what? That's right. This was at first called the Mayhem, right? Yes, sir. But no, it's not. Yeah, had a little bit of naming trouble with that, and so. Well, I know Cold Steel came out right. with the Mayhem. Right. So now it's called the RS Chaos because the designer is RSK Knives. So now we call it the RS Chaos. There's his logo right there. And okay. So that's what we came up with to fix that. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so these are called the RS Chaos now. They're great. Um, M390 blade steel, two different blade shapes you got Warren Cliff and Sheep's Foot. And we got something a little special here. See that right there? Uh huh. Looks kind of similar to a compression lock, right? Yes. And that's because it is similar. It's like a compression lock and a button lock had a baby. Uh huh. And, uh, they're absolutely awesome. Uh, of course, the compression lock patent ran out not too long ago, and so Spider Co's letting people use it now. So instead of you know just slapping a compression lock on something, we wanted to come up with something really neat. And so it's uh, we call it our top liner lock is what we named it. But yeah, it's uh, the best of both worlds: best of a button lock and the strength of compression lock. You're gonna have to break that liner right there for the knife to fail. So there you go. These are our RS Chaos models. Like I said, we've got the Warren Cliff and the Sheep's Foot. Keep an eye out. Possibility they'll be back in stock in November. Okay. And then, uh, you were showing me this. I, I, we got to do this. Yes, the PP oh, color. That's the. So that is the pug or the corgi. corgi. Yes, sir. This is the corgi. But pug, if you'll notice, corgi. it's the extra large version. So we've got an extra large. This is our original size, and we have the mini corgi. So it's going to be an absolute. Fifth pocket oh, I dream. kept thinking the original size was the no. small. No, you got the mini now. Yes. So oh. this is the mini. This is the XL. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, the XL. Yes. The those, XL Corgi in Altum. In Altum. In Altum. So it's the Altum at Corgi. Yes. So those, uh, we don't really have a release date. Just like a lot of these models don't have an exact release date yet. Oh but expect them... Maybe by the end of the year. Still first of very next year. light. Very light. Still. Yes. Um, yes. Actually, Ultim. I don't know. I haven't studied into it, but it seems lighter than G10, and it's also supposed to be tougher. I could be wrong on that. If people in the comments get mad at me, I'm sorry. But not only that, we also are releasing a new blade shape for the corgi, the sheep's foot. Mm. And in my opinion, or well, it is. It's my favorite version. That blade shape is so useful. So. It's just, it makes it such a utility knife. And then when you close it, you still get the, um, what do you call that? It's the same on both sides. I can't think what's that called right now. But yes. Anyway. Symmetrical. It's symmetrical. It's a very symmetrical knife. And then you got the mini. Oh, man, these minis. So if you like the mini bug out, if you like the, yeah. you know, smaller, like the baby banter. Oh, so you got a one in pink. There you go. Yes, got pink. We have pink, purple, all kinds of different colors coming in this. And I uh, think also an Ultim version of this in the future. Oh, that'd be so great. So there, there's a lot of variation choice. And keep an eye out in the further future, we'll probably have it in Sheep's Foot as well. Wow. So, a lot of new stuff from the Corgis. And if you look down here, we have the Thunderbird. But yes. it's different. This is the three and a quarter inch version. Do we have one of the full size versions of the Thunderbird here to show? No, okay. Well, this is the smaller version. Okay, so you got a three quarter. Yes, three quarter inch blade instead of, I believe the last one might have been a three and a half inch. Blade. Yeah, yeah. But there's okay. about a quarter inch chopped off the handle, about a quarter inch chopped off the blade. And the other one was a very long knife. It wasn't mismanageable, but this one just kind of fits the hand a little better, in my opinion. Very useful. And different colors, aluminum. Yes, aluminum. So we've got the blue, the green, the cranberry color. This is titanium. Okay. And this is our frag titanium. Wow. And so, not like the old ones, we actually have a regular deep carry pocket clip. It is inset. But, man, it's awesome. And the button's a little bit different because it's all one piece now. So it's our track lock, you know, our 
yes. uh, our lock we have that's a little bit different than the button lock. And boy, it's they're nice, man. In my opinion, I really like their size. I love the full size Thunderbird, but those make it a little bit more pocketable. Guess what? That's blue. That's blue. That is really blue. Very blue. And it's light. Yes, very light. Um, and that's a nice little action on that. Yeah. Woo. Woo, dog. Very smooth. And the back spacers are different colors. That one Right and left copper. hand, carryable, yes. all that kind of. And hold on. I think I see a raccoon somewhere. You do. A big one. Yes. So I'm, this is the big raccoon, but not a button lock, not a crossbar oh. lock. It is a liner lock. Now, these are prototype prototypes, but, man, these things are sweet. Check out that action. <laughs> so you got the front flipper and the back flipper. And, of course, that famous thumb hole, middle finger flick design. And just like everything else, um, actually, here's a good size comparison for you. From one of our existing models. Got the tag all tied up. The oh, Gator. the Gator. Yes. So about the same length, but a little bit thinner, I believe, and uh, different blade shape. You know? Gator size. Yeah, Gator size. I like the Gator. Um, yeah, you know what? Knife. This is, yeah, I like this. You know what? But I wouldn't mind this in a button. Yeah. Uh, is there how, what is going to be your, the locking what, your, mechanism on those? Uh, uh, top line lock hook. Top line. Oh, so this is going to be like the Mayhem. Oh, no, it's, no or the, for this one? Yes, for that one. Oh, no, just liner lock. Oh, just liner lock, okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Originally, I wanted to do like something traditional. Try something traditional, okay. Wouldn't shock me, though, if it meant that you did one. Hold on, is that G10? Yeah, it's yes. G10, right? So G10 liner lock. And, uh, wow. And here you going to do this in Altum? Or... Are you going to do that in Altum? Uh, enough Altum. Enough Altum. <laughs> yeah, that's a big problem we're having right now is popular. finding materials. Yeah. Um, okay. And here's the original size raccoon. Um, so this is the XL raccoon, and this is going to be the kind of normal size. Oh, yes. big dog. Big so, dog. Yeah, this is more of a regular size, everyday carry. But yeah. See, I've got that in my Carta. I've got it in Blue G10, that yeah. kind of thing. I love it. I love it. And I love the fact... It's so fidget friendly. And here is something that I am really looking forward to personally. This is the Mink. So at Blade Show Atlanta, we had these fixed blades. They were so in the prototype stage that they did not even have a sheath. Now we've got a sheath for them. It's a great everyday carry fixed blade. One really cool thing that I'd like to point out is the jimping. Uh, travels up here. I mean, you know, in my opinion, sometimes that is a grip we use, but one up here, man, for that fine control, the jimping up there is great. We actually listened to our um, uh, our consumers, and this used to just come back here and terminate. But uh -huh. now we have added a bigger heel and a sharpening choil to it. Okay. And so uh, when you bump your hand up against it, there's very, very little chance of you getting cut. So these will be out next month. Oh, okay. um, and the price is right around 69 bucks, and we're going to use Nitro V blade steel on it. Oh, wow. Yes. Nitro V. So, and okay. it's got these um, this sheath with these clips. I believe, if you don't like the style of clip. With like a tech lock. That's a tech lock tech type lock mechanism. mechanism. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, I didn't remember that. But, and Kydex type sheath. Yes. Yeah. And you should be able to put an ulti clip on it if you don't like this Okay, type. there you go. Ulti. If, if yeah. the holes are properly spaced, I would, you know, if you get it, measure it first. But, uh, and this should also work with scout carry as well. So, there you go. That is our mink fixed blade. And, of course, we have it in another color here with a satin blade, too. Oh, yeah. Well, well actually, stone wash. Yeah, I like the stone wash. It's a good work and finish. How about we move over here to some of yes, our crazy prototypes? Do. Yes. So, let's start out with the Dirty Girl from RSK no. Knives. What? The Dirty Girl. Hey, Dirty Girl? I didn't know. Okay. Um, it's an awesome karambit. Um, self-defense style knife. You've got a knuckle duster and, of course, the karambit shape. And this is peel ply, G, um, peel ply, yeah. peel ply carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. But, um, and the blade's going to be nitro V. But this is a, like I said, this is a super prototype stage knife. This one might be a little bit better finished. It's got the micarta. Okay. Nitro V blade. And man, this thing is it's pretty sweet. And it'll have a sheath or what? Yes. I mean we haven't we haven't made the sheaths yet. Okay. But I would expect Kydex sheaths that uh, with pretty tight retention. Um, but yeah, that's what those are. And I really like this knuckle duster style thing. Where you can kinda, you know, clunk a little bit if you need to. Well <laughs> yes. But yeah, it's it's got the, the ring for the spins and I'm no good with them, but 
There you go. You'll get better after you cut yourself a few times. A hundred, oh. hundred times. Here's one that's really cool. Oh, hey, there he is right there. Hey. Hey, what's up, Altigate? What's going on? Good. Good to see you. Nice seeing you. Here, you talk about this knife. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> um, I was not ready for this. Well, oh, here he goes. He's All right. live. He's Memorex. So, this is my first design coming okay. through Vosteed, and uh, it's it's in the works. I couldn't be happier with it so far. It's got a nice functional blade shape, nice aggressive tip, good ergos. Um, working on a name. It's a very special name, so I'm still wanting to make sure it's just right. Um, but yeah, I'm just couldn't be more stoked for it. So it's going to be called Just Right. No, you're, not just you're right. You're going to make sure it's <laughs> just right. Going to make sure it's just right, but it's not just right. It's, I, it's, I don't know. It's soybean. Soybean. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's right. <laughs> yeah, no, I am. Uh, I couldn't be happier with the proto version. And there's still some tweaks coming. There's going to be a little few changes, but uh, it looks amazing. Better, wow. than, better than I pictured. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. Very, very excited. That's wonderful. And maybe out, what, 24? Uh, sometime 24, early 24 yeah yeah there'll be uh the first review coming up on wayne sharp world of it and yeah we're really looking forward to bringing it to everyone and i just hope it's something everybody likes oh yeah it's a beautiful knife thank nice you. design thank you and so it's a button lock it's uh contoured so you've done a white and a black g10 on this thing right here on this one and there's going to be different colors uh the white and black was just for the prototype be variable but yeah. yeah okay yeah there's going to be some some fun flavors for it finger flickable front flip button action love, love the action on that however you want it yeah i, I mean, like the g10 it's, it's, it's almost nice like automatic when it drops it's yeah. just like boom it's and it's in yeah. wow really really happy with it deep carry pocket clip Wow. All right. Well, thank you for that. Do you want to you want to continue? Yeah. yeah. Thank Take you. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah no that's problem. great. Yeah, Wayne, Wayne's well, Jack nice World, to everyone. be able to do a collaboration with Vosti. They do Wayne great Star stuff. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah. You see this guy? It's Wayne Jack World. Dude, uh, dude's, Jack. dude's Jack. Yeah, Wayne Shark World. <laughs> awesome. No, thank you guys for checking it out. I appreciate everybody. I'm glad everybody likes it. Uh, I do. Oh, I'm sure it'll be really popular. Really popular. And wow, that is different too, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so this is the mini psyop designed by Jeff at Tough Knives, right? Jeff at Tough Knives. So this is again kind of like our RS Chaos was. We're dipping up into the titanium handles and high, um, you know. What's the word for it? High-end blade. Is this black tie here? Yes, that's black and titanium uh, coated, right? Yes, coated. Um, and it's either going to have M390 or L-Max blade, one or the other. Wow. Um, and That'd it's got nice. that top liner lock that we talked about earlier. So great, great action. And it's got the front flipper and thumb hole. And that forward finger to a man, you can, I don't care how big your fingers are, you can get in that. Very, very good. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, get up. Yeah. yeah. And... Not only that, we've got the milled titanium pocket clip with the invisible screws. Oh, yeah, okay. And T8, yeah, T8 body screws as well. T8 body, okay. Body and pivot, which, you know, I, I prefer that myself, and I really like that. So there's there's one kind of pattern on there. Is yours is a different pattern? Yes, okay, this different. is just a three-striped pattern. So you decided, are you going to offer several? Are you going to offer both types? Uh, I'm Trying to get still trying to it. figure it out. Oh, trying Everything's to figure it out. still in the okay. prototype stage. So, yeah. So that's these two. These are the spy ops, mini Psy mini psy ops. I keep calling it spy ops. Psy <laughs> psy ops. Psy ops. All right. Let's move up here to this one. I am personally super excited for this one. This is the Hedgehog. So this is again using our top liner lock, and it's got the jumping back here. Really, really stubby little knife, but boy, it sure does fit in the hand really well. Got that sheep's foot blade shape. And you've got the flipper back here too. It disappears once you flip the knife out, as you can see. Uh, final version will have jimping on it for a little bit better grip, as you can see mm -hmm. there, no jimping. But the, <clears throat> excuse me, final version will. And the thumb studs. And boy, this thing is snappy, so smooth. Um, and on the final version, I'm not sure if it will be aluminum, titanium. More than likely, it will be micarta. Um, and I don't believe this is going to be one of our higher end knives. Probably around the hundred dollar, hundred and ten dollar price point. Okay. Um, but man, that I'm really excited that we're using that top liner lock. Is what we're calling it right now. Yes. Um, it's so it's so nice, man. It's like with the power of a compression lock and the versatility of the button lock. And finally, 
This one right here. All right, UA is going to have to pronounce this for me because I can never say it. TBD. TBD, okay, so we, never mind, we changed the name. Um, this is a new knife coming out sometime either, like I said, later this year, early next year. And boy, look at the lines on this blade. It's so nice. It's ground, I think, one, two, three, three or four different times. And it gives it a very great look. And instead of a thumb stud, we've got the thumb disc. Thumb disc? Yes. Yeah. And so it's, um, yes, that's what it's designed after, that dinosaur right there. You see ah. how it has the almost harpoon shape to it? Terra, Terra, Terra. That's the cup. Tellarorus. Tellarorus? Tellarorus, something okay. like that. <laughs> but yes, as you can see, it's kind of designed after that. So this will be another one kind of in our budget range, not not one of our higher end knives. Okay. And, um, you know, the blade still will either be, either be Nitro V or 14C28N more than likely. Our deep carry pocket clips, and as we try to do, recessed, of course, and our wonderful crossbar lock. And man, that thumb disc over the thumb stud, I know we can have problems with thumb discs when we put them on knives. Maybe they're not accessible or they're uncomfortable. It's not the case for this one. Very comfortable. And as you can tell, the blade has been milled out for the disc to yes. fit down in there. Okay. So it's not just an afterthought that we kind of just screwed onto the top there. This is actually something that was designed specifically for this. So very comfortable, very ergonomic, and very useful. And let's see, here's the mini Corgi. Not that big of a knife. Okay. It's gonna be a very good size. So I think that's everything. Oh no, I'm sorry. Almost didn't talk about this. This is one of our, we're gonna call it the anchor right now because we don't know what we're gonna name it, but the mechanism we're gonna call the anchor mechanism. Okay. So this is a brand new lock designed by UA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, him right there. And um, it's a really cool concept. The actual lock is in the dead center of the blade. And uh, you've got uh, so it's like a pivot, pivot lock in a way. In a way, maybe, but we can't. There's an anchor plate inside of the lock. Yes, there's an anchor plate inside there. The, the anchor plate is CNC. The anchor plate is CNC from a piece of steel and embedded inside of the lock, and everything is hide inside of this pivot area. So, so it makes it really. Tough. I mean, yeah, strong. Yeah. It's, it's a strong lock. Strong lock. Yeah, the thing is that I forgot to add a detent ball for this knife. That's a, that's a, that's an okay, okay mistake. Yeah, for now, <laughs> for on the now. prototype. Yeah, on the prototype. Uh, the good thing with this system is that it allows me to have both front flipper and the normal flipper as well as as well as the um, thumb hole. Yeah, that. Yeah. And uh, for the production version, I want to like probably uh, increase the diameter of the uh, release button, the, this button. Right now it's smaller. Yeah, Okay, and no name yet, and no, no, name, no I mean, you're still working with the prototype too, yeah. right? Okay. And of course it's got that thing we love to do so much, the three different deployment methods. Uh, but I like the design. Yes, it's a great looking knife. And yeah, also, it's a good looking, this one is uh, kind of a worn cliff, right? Or a sheep's foot. Yeah, like sheep's foot, sheep yeah. foot reverse tonto kind of thing. Um, and this is going to be in the budget realm too, right? Uh, Maybe. I, I haven't decided that haven't decided. yet. We're so early in the prototype yeah, stage of that uh, that, there's no, uh, that we don't know what we're going to do. The thing is that the lock strings, I have already verified the lock strings. And I will put this lock. I already filed a patent for this lock, so it will be available on different models. Um, oh, next okay. Year. So okay. I want to do like an uh, echo lock for this one, probably for other knives as well. So there yeah. you go. That's yeah, I like this tough knife. What, what the name of the model again? Mini Psyop. Mini Psyop. Mini Psyop. Yes. What's mini about? I would hate to see the big one, wouldn't you? Oh, no. Uh -uh, I haven't. I haven't seen it, but I'm saying it's got to be huge. Oh, right? oh yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe, yeah, check yeah. He, uh, but this will be great. Like four inch blade what is four this inch like? Blade? Wow. What's this? Three and a quarter? Three, three color. Yeah, yeah, he just said like the, the original is about a four inch blade. So my goodness. Which would be good. That's That'd be huge. Cool. That'd yeah, be cool. I'm a yeah. huge fan of, uh, of Jeff. Yes. So. That'd be good. But I really like the fact that you're doing the Corgi 
in the big and the raccoon in the big too. Yes, so that's those, uh, the XL Corgi is going to be really good. So enough. those over there are those just raccoons? Yes, those are just raccoons with the crossbar lock, but they're different aluminum colors. So kind of a special, pretty colors. Oh, um, okay. So that's a show special, right? Uh, no, just the, kidding. That's I'm something kidding. coming up. And the morale too. I don't know if you've talked about that yet. Another RSK design. Very beautiful. Got the shilling cutter blade shape, compound ground blade. Um, just a beautiful knife, man. Yeah. Aluminum scales. Uh, N690 blade steel on this one. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. he went with that. Um, but yeah, I, we, we've got a lot going on right now, and um, you can go find us. Yes. Yes. So we got a lot going on, obviously. And yes, you do. 2024 is going to be a good year. I'm really excited and looking forward to it. So you know where to find us, Vosti.com. But not, oh, here you go. You can put this in. Uh, let me finish that first. You know where to find us, uh, Vosti.com. We're also on Knife Center, White Mountain Knives, Blade HQ. We're all over the place. So here is the full-size Thunderbird, the original. And here is the mini Thunderbird. So you can see. See, White Mountain's got this, right? Yes. yes. Okay, is that one of their exclusive, right? Yeah, okay. Exclusive. See, I never did pick that up. That's the yeah, that's full-size, though, right? Yeah, that's the first time I did the rock pattern. Yes. I'm like I'm like that. Yeah. I, sh I I gotta get. I'm gonna grab one of those when I get home. I'll I'll talk to Justin. Yeah. But there you go. So there's the difference between the sizes. So you can see, like I said, maybe. It, yeah, it's subtle. Of second off. Yeah. Yes. But it's very different in hand because um, you know the arc, it kind of just squeezes it up a little bit, makes it a little bit of a tighter fit in the hand. So. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Are you yes, sir. This one or